Monkeys, these fascinating creatures, share a close ancestry with us. From the lush rainforests of South America to the African savanna, they inhabit a diverse range of environments. Their intelligence is striking, their social interactions complex. Let us delve into the captivating world of monkeys, exploring their diversity, behaviors, and the challenges they face. The monkey family is broadly divided into two groups, New World monkeys and Old World monkeys. These two groups have evolved separately for millions of years, leading to a variety of differences in their physical characteristics, behaviors, and habitats. New World monkeys are found in the Americas, specifically in Central and South America. They thrive in diverse environments ranging from tropical rainforests to mountainous regions. Old World monkeys inhabit Africa, Asia and even a small part of Europe. They are highly adaptable and can be found in a variety of habitats, including savannas, forests and mountainous areas. One key difference lies in their noses. This seemingly small feature has significant implications for their sense of smell and social interactions. New World monkeys, like spider monkeys, possess wide, flat noses with nostrils that face outwards. This nasal structure is thought to be an adaptation to their arboreal lifestyle. Old World monkeys, such as baboons and macaques, have narrower noses with downward-facing nostrils. This difference in nasal structure is one of the most noticeable distinctions between the two groups. Another distinguishing feature is the presence of prehensile tails in some New World monkey species. These tails are incredibly versatile and can be used to grasp branches, hold on to food and even help in social interactions. These tails act as an extra limb, providing grip and support as they navigate the trees. This adaptation is particularly useful in the dense, complex canopy of the rainforest. Old world monkeys lack this adaptation, instead they rely more on their strong limbs and dexterous hands for movement and foraging. Their tails are not prehensile and are often shorter, serving primarily for balance rather than grasping. Social structures also differ between the two groups. New world monkeys often live in smaller, more cohesive family units. They engage in complex social behaviours such as grooming and vocal communication to strengthen bonds within the group. Old world monkeys, on the other hand, tend to form larger troops with more rigid social hierarchies. Dominance and rank play a significant role in their social interactions and these structures can be quite complex. Diets also vary between the two groups. New world monkeys primarily consume fruits, insects and small animals. Their foraging habits are adapted to the rich biodiversity of their environments. Old world monkeys have a more varied diet that includes leaves, seeds and even small mammals. Their ability to exploit a wide range of food sources has contributed to their success in diverse habitats. Despite their differences, both New World and Old World monkeys play crucial roles in their ecosystems. They help in seed dispersal, control insect populations and serve as prey for larger predators. Understanding these fascinating creatures provides insight into the rich tapestry of life on our planet. Capuchin monkeys, inhabitants of Central and South America, are known for their intelligence and tool-using abilities. They possess a remarkable ability to learn and adapt. These monkeys are often seen using rocks to crack open nuts or sticks to extract insects from tree bark. Their problem-solving skills have made them a favorite subject of animal cognition studies. Capuchins live in social groups with complex hierarchies. These hierarchies are maintained through a combination of vocalizations, grooming and displays of dominance. Spider monkeys, named for their long limbs and agile movements, are fascinating creatures of the rainforest. Their prehensile tails, which act like a fifth limb, are true marvels of nature, allowing them to navigate their arboreal homes with incredible ease. Found in the lush rainforests of Central and South America, these primates are perfectly adapted to life high in the trees. They rarely, if ever, descend to the forest floor, preferring the safety and abundance of the canopy. Their long, slender limbs and prehensile tails allow them to move effortlessly through the canopy, swinging from branch to branch with grace and precision. Spider monkeys are highly social animals, often seen grooming each other and playing together. They live in large groups, sometimes consisting of up to 35 individuals, which helps them protect each other from predators and find food more efficiently. Communication is key in their social structure. They use a variety of vocalizations to stay in touch with each other. 
These sounds include barks, screams and whistles, each serving a different purpose, from warning of danger to coordinating group movements. Their diet is diverse, consisting mainly of fruits, but also leaves, flowers and occasionally insects. This varied diet ensures they get all the nutrients they need to thrive in their complex environment. During the hottest parts of the day, they often rest in the shade, conserving energy and avoiding the midday heat. As the sun sets, they prepare to sleep, finding secure spots high in the trees where they can rest safely until dawn. Howler monkeys are famous for their loud guttural calls that can echo for miles through the rainforest. These calls, produced by an enlarged hyoid bone in their throat, serve to mark territory and attract mates. Found in Central and South America, they are one of the largest New World monkey species. Howler monkeys are primarily folivorous, meaning their diet consists mainly of leaves. They have specialized digestive systems that allow them to extract nutrients from this tough food source. Baboons are ground-dwelling Old World monkeys found throughout Africa and parts of the Arabian Peninsula. They are highly adaptable and inhabit a variety of habitats, from savannas and grasslands to forests and mountains. Baboons are highly social animals living in troops that can number in the hundreds. Their social structure is complex, with a dominance hierarchy among both males and females. They are omnivorous, feeding on a wide variety of foods, including fruits, grasses, seeds, insects, and small animals. Macaques are a diverse group of Old World monkeys found throughout Asia. These fascinating creatures have adapted to a wide range of environments, showcasing their incredible versatility and resilience. From the lush, tropical rainforests of Southeast Asia, where the dense foliage provides ample food and shelter, to the frigid, snowy mountains of Japan, where Japanese macaques, also known as snow monkeys, have become famous for their unique behavior of bathing in hot springs to stay warm during the harsh winters. They're known for their adaptability and have even adapted to living in close proximity to humans. In many parts of Asia, macaques can be seen near temples, markets and urban areas, often interacting with people and scavenging for food. Some macaque species, such as the rhesus macaque, are not only common in the wild but also play a significant role in scientific research. Their close genetic relationship to humans makes them valuable for medical and psychological studies. Others, like the crab-eating macaque, are known for their remarkable intelligence and tool-using abilities. These macaques have been observed using sticks to extract insects from tree bark and even using rocks to crack open shellfish. The crab-eating macaque, also known as the long-tailed macaque, thrives in coastal areas where it forages for crabs and other marine life, showcasing its adaptability to different food sources. Their intelligence and ability to use tools highlight the cognitive capabilities of macaques, making them a subject of interest for researchers studying animal behavior and cognition. Macaques are omnivorous, and their diet varies depending on their environment. They consume a wide range of foods, including fruits, leaves, insects, and small animals, adapting their diet to the resources available in their habitat. This dietary flexibility is another testament to their remarkable adaptability and survival skills. Mandrills are easily recognizable by their bright blue and red facial markings. These striking colors are a sign of dominance, with more brightly colored males having higher social status. They are found in the rainforests of Central Africa where they live in large troops. Mandrills are omnivorous, feeding on a variety of fruits, seeds, insects and small animals. They are also known to hunt larger prey such as rodents and reptiles. Monkeys face numerous threats, many of which are driven by human activities. Habitat loss due to deforestation is a major concern as it destroys their homes and food sources. The illegal pet trade also poses a significant threat as monkeys are often captured from the wild and sold as exotic pets. Climate change is another emerging threat as it alters their habitats and food availability. The conservation of monkeys is crucial not only for their own survival, but also for the health of the ecosystems they inhabit. Monkeys play important roles in seed dispersal, pollination, and regulating prey populations. 
We must support efforts to protect their habitats, combat the illegal pet trade and mitigate climate change. By understanding and appreciating these fascinating creatures, we can help ensure their survival for generations to come.